Ah, oh, the wonderful love furry dog Dogecoin. Don't wonder this has become so popular and has risen in price so much. People are really loving this cryptocurrency. And I wanted to share a little bit with you about what I think about it, how much I've invested in it, and the people that I've come across and how much they have put into it. So stick around. I want to show you how much it's gone up since a few years ago. And I want to share with you my thoughts on it. For you guys to get an idea of just how much it's gone up, let's pretend like someone invested $100 into Dogecoin. How much would you have today? Let's look behind the ears of this lovable dog and see why it's become so popular. Who can deny this lovable face of this Dogecoin dog? No wonder why so many people have taken to this lovable face on a coin. I would take this face of a coin over the president's face any day of the week. This video is just to give you a little insight into Dogecoin, what it's about, and I don't want you guys to go broke, go yellow, and put all your money into it. There are some very simple ways that you can get some exposure to it and really learn from this new thing that's happening in the investing world. So stick around, I wanna show you those here at the end of the video. Because I'm recording this video with my iPhone, I wanted to show you the Robinhood account that I have here on my iPad. And you can see here that at the time of this recording, my Dogecoin holding is at 150%. This is just incredible. I bought about $5 when it was around 18 cents a share. Since then, I added another $5 and I'll continue to do that as long as the performance of Dogecoin keeps going up and the price doesn't dip below the previous week's open. Now, this is just one strategy that I told myself I would adhere to and stick with uh, going forward in the weeks to come. So it's been kind of an exciting thing to uh, check in each week. Don't spend a ton of time on it, but it's just fun to see each week the price just continue to rise. I did tell myself though, if the price were to suddenly crater and dip below the price of the open of the previous week, then I would take some profits. I would take the money's worth that I had put in up to that point and take profits and only take that percentage and the rest would continue to rise or dip as the price moved. In my watching of videos of Graham Stephan who's become very popular on YouTube and gotten over 3 million subscribers. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You have Andre Jake, I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, talking about Dogecoin and he met someone who has a huge amount of Dogecoin invested and you will see the video on his channel and I'll put the link there here in the video for you. I'll put the link to that video in below. So this is something that has become a big phenomenon. I'm pretty sure that Dogecoin has just exploded in popularity and the talk of the town on YouTube and everybody is creating some videos on their positions, what they think and their reactions to other people that have invested in Dogecoin. So some have been really happy. There have been actual people that invested in Dogecoin a long time ago. I'm talking years and have really seen a big change and a life-changing amount in their accounts. Now, whether they continue to hold or have paper hands and sell is the question of the day. Now, this is just a really big thing that's going on. So much different than the US dollar and how we transact money with the banks. Yes, there are some days that I spend endless hours on the computer looking at articles and reading about Dogecoin. It's just such a fun and exciting thing that's going on right now in the markets. And one article I came across was from Coindesk and they were talking about the price pumps and that just simply means the big changes that have been going on with Dogecoin. It's up, then it goes down up a huge amount and then down a huge amount. 
anybody would be just tearing their hair out if they were watching it on a daily basis. Some people are really good at just putting some money away, like say a meal's worth or a dinner's worth or a say even a vacation's worth amount of money into a cryptocurrency like this, which is just crazy to think about. Hmm. So I took some serious thought in thinking, okay, we've got Bitcoin that's in the cryptocurrency space. We have Dogecoin, we got Ethereum, and then we have just regular stocks. What I came up with was a chart here for you guys in my confidence in the next, say, three to five years of where these cryptocurrencies are going to be. Bitcoin being obviously at the top and Ethereum being in second and then Dogecoin being at third. Again, I'll leave a link and a card here for you to see which video on Andre Jake's channel about this guy who invested a lot of money into Dogecoin and their arguments for wh whether to keep Dogecoin or to sell it. And obviously when you have such a large amount and you've profited so much from a investment like this, then the big question becomes, well, do you sell it all? Do you just sell part of it and take profits and change your lifestyle and then have the rest continue to grow or tank? This is something that uh, all investors have to think about. If you're someone who's really looking into Dogecoin or want to learn just a little bit more about it, check out the link in the description below. I'm sure some of you guys who are watching this video know Mark Cuban. He's the owner of the Dallas Mavericks and he's given a thumbs up to the Dogecoin cryptocurrency and the way he did that was by allowing people to buy tickets and merch uh, with Dogecoin. So that reminds me, have you hit the like button as well for this video? If not, do so. Now another company that has really adopted Dogecoin is Newegg and this website allows you to buy cool electronics. I've even bought products from this website and have found it to be really good. Just adding to the popularity and supply and demand for Dogecoin, there's two other ones as well. There's Kessler and Post Oaks. These are two big companies that have also decided to allow payments with BitPay for Dogecoin for customers. So this has just become uh, more accepted in the business world and more transactions now will be made with Dogecoin. Think about it, there are quite a few people that have subscribed to the idea of using Dogecoin as payments. And you could also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and you're gonna be able to see all the other videos that I've created for you that help you with investing and growing your portfolio. I highly encourage you guys to go to dogecoin.com. They have a video there that you can watch. You can open up a wallet. You can read about the information of Dogecoin, how it got started, how other people are joining the community and interacting there. There's so much going on over there. I really encourage you to check it out if you're interested in investing in Dogecoin. The tricky part about this is Dogecoin is not a stock where there's fundamentals or technicals quite yet. This is something that makes people weary of Dogecoin because there's no definite metrics to follow. There's nothing to support the valuation even though it's around the $50 billion range. History has a really strange way of presenting the most wonderful things at the most unexpected times and ways. So this is something that I really think is going to be around in the future. Dogecoin could really go to the moon. There's so many people talking about it. As more people transact with Dogecoin, I believe that it's just going to get stronger and stronger. I really do think it's going to surpass the dollar mark and I think it will continue to rise. Now, I don't think it's going to see the crazy amounts of explosion in stock price like it's already done, 20,000% change, and it will stabilize in the years to come. Now, there's only a certain amount being mined every year, 
But when you consider that the dollar is being printed and trillions of dollars are being poured into the economy every single year, it's a drop in the bucket of what Dogecoin is being generated each year versus the dollar. And this is what is really gaining the confidence of investors because it's not having that crazy inflation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different than the other videos that I do that break down stocks. If you are interested in those, check out my channel. I talk about ROE. I talk about the PE ratio. I talk about how stocks work and how investors think about them. I really do want you guys to become diversified investors. I err on the side of being conservative and not putting all of your money on one number if you were in a casino. I really do think that uh, long term you guys should build a portfolio that's going to be able to support your lifestyle that you want to have and that you don't struggle paycheck to paycheck. Hope that you guys are able to travel, see the places you want to visit be able to spend time with the people that you love most. And I wanna be able to create this channel for you that really helps you get started investing if you're not already, and be able to help you find solid picks that are going to be high growth and help your portfolio. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment below if there is something you guys want to know, something you guys want me to talk about on a video. I'd love to hear from you. Bye!